Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be um, my five tips about how to get through the horrendous two week wait after the IUI. Um, I had my fair share of failed attempts or failed IUIs, meaning I've had my fair share of the long awaited two week waits. And um, I did everything at the beginning that you're really not supposed to do. So I've definitely learned from my mistakes and hopefully these five tips will help you from making the same mistakes that I did in the beginning. So number one is to stay positive. Um, this may be sound easier um, said than done, but really just get in like a frame of mind that it's already happened and there's really nothing you can do about it and just like relax your body and just like keep open like a positive mind um, about the situation and just try to like stay relaxed in anything that you're doing. Uh, tip number two is pregnancy test. Uh, don't have them in your house at all. Um, if you do have like a whole bunch in your house and get your partner or someone to hide them from you It's a horrible idea because you take like a shit ton and you're like, okay Well, it's not gonna show a positive line that early So you then you get discouraged because it's a negative or it is a positive because like me I had an overdose shot. So I thought I was pregnant when I really wasn't so these little things Yeah, I don't fucking need them. <laughs> number three is stop obsessing over pregnancy symptoms and stay away from the internet so these two, two kind of go hand in hand so at the very beginning, like any little thing, I was like, oh, like I'm nauseous and pregnant. Oh, I'm constipated, must be pregnant. Like you don't feel those symptoms that early. So anything that you're feeling, it's like you're tricking your body into feeling these symptoms because you think you are pregnant. And certain things on the internet, like miscarriages or being like pregnant, you're gonna like find horrendous stories and think the worst. So just stay away from the internet for those two weeks. Um, what it has to do with pregnancy things. I, I can watch like your YouTube videos or whatever to keep you entertained, but definitely don't look at any, anything related to pregnancies or babies or anything. Uh, tip number four, having a supportive partner. Um, it's a tough time for you and as well as your partner going through this. Um, I find it put like a bit of strain on mine and Judy's relationship. So it's really um, important to um, talk to each other and communicate and tell each other how they're how you're feeling. It is important to know how they're feeling also because they are in this with you. Um, so just make sure that you have each other's support and you talk about your feelings with each other and that know that you guys are there for each other no matter what the outcome is. Uh, tip number five is to stay busy. Um, Anything from like going to work, if you don't work, then like go out to dinner with your friends, go to the movies with your friends, plant a garden, like I don't know, do anything that keeps you busy, anything you like to do, read a book, like anything. And my favorite thing is, come on, come with me. So my favorite tip to stay busy, and I love to do is go swimming. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit, hit the subscribe button make sure your bell notifications are turned on so you know when i upload and i will see you guys next week